Hey guys. Come on, like, fucking. It's really late. It's two in the morning. <laughs> I'm being an idiot deciding to record a video, but I really wanted to highlight something very, very important or something I find very important, which is that it's hard for me to focus. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to focus on anything. It's very, very difficult for me to enjoy the small things in life. If I'm not proactively making money or exercising or tr doing something productive in my eyes, like video editing, exercising, reading, meditating, something that isn't self improvement, something that isn't productive, then it's very, very difficult for me to absolutely focus on or absolutely relax. I think absolutely relax because it's that heavy. Like, I cannot. I don't actually fathom, I can't, I can't fathom the idea of relaxing, but it's very, very difficult for me to just sit down and just watch a movie. You understand me? I think, like, the only, the only time I tried to watch Netflix was, like, a while ago, like, about a week or something ago. I could not watch Netflix. Straight up. I could not watch Netflix. That isn't a flex or anything. Oh, I'm so much better than everyone. I can't watch Netflix and you know I can't focus. I can't. Uh, I can't focus on the bullshit. Blah, 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 stuff from a grind for life. Genuinely, I could not relax. Like that's. Where I close my door if possible. I generally can't relax unless I'm actively moving. Then my mind gets focused on the moving part. Unless I'm making money, I'm talking to clients. I'm prospecting, I'm doing something productive in my life, I'm video editing, then I cannot relax. Straight up. I, I tried to watch Crazy Rich Asians, the movie, a while back. The entire, like, the entire time I was watching that movie, I could not, like, shake off the, the, I, the, the, the thought of what am I doing in my life. I need to think of a business plan, I need to think of a new business model, because this business model was not working. Uh, I've got to think of this, I've got to think of that. Well, I need to be something productive. I can't watch this movie anymore. This is a waste of my time. Now I'm getting jealous of these guys that are that are you know as not as young as me, but a bit older than me, but have infinitely better lives than me. It's so it's so stupid. This is unfair. A plethora of flaw, thoughts like that pervade my mind, and because of it, I cannot relax. I genuinely cannot relax. Like even like I even made the recording. <sighs> Even in the recording, <laughs> got sidetracked on a little bicep mask. Even as I'm recording, it's very, very difficult for me to actually I can focus on the recording because I'm speaking, right? Because I have two videos as productive. But even as I'm recording, it's still for difficult for me to focus on just purely the recording, the thought of what am I doing in my life always pervades my mind and it is a both blessing and a curse the best way I can describe it is both a blessing and a curse but it's a blessing because those type of thoughts are the thoughts that push you in order to be better it is those type of uncomfortable thoughts that question your reality it's those tough questions that you ask yourself often in which allows for growth I believe but it's a curse because Every day feels like constant suffering. I don't remember the last time I truly relaxed. I could truly just sat back, just kick, put my feet up, and just relaxed. You know, I envy those that can do it, but I do not envy those that can do it but have a mundane life. It's very, very weird, and that's not weird because you have a mundane life. How are you able to relax when you have a mundane life? You should be striving for something better, right? But this self-improvement thing, I understand why people would see themselves and their lives get ruined by it. Because it's just, if you get into somewhat into self-improvement, it's very difficult to relax with all the bullshit you relaxed with before. Like it's very, very difficult just to chill in video games, just to chill in Netflix. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very, very difficult for you, for you to drown your sorrows with entertainment media and go about your mundane life. It's incredibly difficult. And to my, the, my message to those that crumble under this pressure, this self succumb to pressure, I can only tell you one thing. You're either a man or you're not. You're either a man or you're not. You're either a woman or you're not. And one zero percent female viewers. 
listen guys pressure is absolutely mandatory all right guys absolutely mandatory for a successful life no successful person goes without pressure right? pressure is one of the things where it can either make you or break you right think about a high hydraulic press on coal think about it, a hydraulic press on coal the pressure from the hydraulic press can either turn the coal into a diamond or to dust the same analogy can be used in order to apply to you you can use that pressure from your family that you self succumb to pressure from your friends pressure from you telling your dreams to everyone oh guys I'm gonna be a super famous rock star one day two months later that one friend who's too too honest he's a blessing in disguise he's too honest oh so how did that rock star thing come along Where's your progress? You don't have any progress. <laughs> nice to see, right? Nice to see. You can either choose to let that pressure get to you, turn you into dust, and then fold. Go get a job. Go back to school. Learn a trade. And I'm not, sh I'm not shitting on those, but in those professions, but if you go in that profession, because you have nothing else to fucking do and you can't think about another bad, bad thing to do then. Or your dreams are crushed and then you go into, the, into that profession, then you do something wrong. You do something wrong. Okay, guys. If you want to be a super famous rock star one day, and you spend two years of your life and you couldn't hack it, and, you go, and then you learn a trade. Okay, now you've got money to put your roof over your head, but there's not what you want to do, right? But the job, but the steady paycheck from the job is very, very favorable, right? And you want to get that roof over your head. You want to pay rent. You want to pay bills. Or oh, then you meet a girl somewhere down the line. She's not too ugly. She's not too pretty, but she's just okay. She likes you. You like her. You guys have kids. Boom. Not a trap. Now the rock star dream is completely fucking dead. It's still possible, but completely and utterly improbable. You're not gonna become a rock star. Why not? <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna become a rock star? You got three kids, two kids, a kid. You got a wife to take care of. You got kids to take care of. You got bills, rent, mortgage, all this shit to take care of. You can't afford to quit your job or go part time for a bit in order to focus on your dream. No, you can't do that. And if you did, they would starve. And you'd be a bad parent. Listen, guys. Mediocrity is only but a doorstep away. It will depend on your choice that you take in order to strive away from mediocrity. Let me show you some LED LEDs in the back. LEDs? Because of bad lighting. I'm using the lighting for my screen. <laughs> You see OBS is here. I'm using the <laughs> file explorer because it's completely white. The white washes on my face. The white gleams off my face which goes into lighting. Welcome back to this recording. I was watching the recording back. It's hard for me to focus. I can't watch movies. I can't watch this. I can't do that. I can't do that. Listen, guys, if you're ever feeling this, these these thoughts, these emotions, think of it as a blessing in disguise. This is the best possible thing that could possibly happen to you in your entire life. The inability to focus and purely relax on bullshit. If it's difficult, then it's good. If it's hard, genuinely hard, in order to just sit down and try to enjoy your favorite anime, or your favorite TV show, your favorite this, your favorite that, then good. You've got better things to do, don't you? You've got that task you need to do, don't you? You're watching this stupid fucking video. What's wrong with you? Get back to work. 
the hell? I'm not doing this for money. I'm not, I'm not doing a YouTube channel for money. This un especially this uncut YouTube channel. It's all f for me to be prepared, preparing myself to put, put myself on camera. This channel is, for the most part, preparing myself to put my preparing myself to put myself on camera. Getting used to being on camera. Getting used to video editing as well. Getting used to clipping. Getting used to this. Everything. It's all, it's all, it's all there for a reason. And you guys are hitchhiking along. The person I'm, not I'm talking to in the most of my videos that I give advice to and when I say something about myself, it's usually all about myself. And if you relate to it, then it's good, right? It's not necessarily good. I mean, it's good, but for me at least. But if you relate to me in my videos, that is indicative of you relating to me. Indicative of us being very, very similar. You can't focus on the new video game. You can't focus and keep having these thoughts saying it in your head. What are you doing? If you're doing something in your life. What am I doing in my life? These tough questions that your brain subconsciously asks yourself. Ask yourself. It's so, so important because these are the type of questions that get you out of the situation you're in. You can either choose to listen to that voice. Or you can succumb. To mediocrity. And that's tough, guys. It's tough. Who wants to be mediocre? No one. No one. But we all end up being mediocre. Why? Because it's easy. Like I said before, steady paycheck. Like I said before, get, uh, consistent sex with a girlfriend or wife. Kids to take care of. Responsibilities pile up over the years. Listen, guys. I'm not shitting on a family, I'm not shitting on a nuclear family. I do want to have a family one day. Definitely, wife and kids, love it. Love the idea. I'm going to have a bunch of kids. If I have a bunch of money, no, I will have a bunch of money and I will have a bunch of kids. Five. Five kids. Two girls, three boys. That's my plan. My final message before I go. My final message, focus on something important, focus on something that matters to you, focus on something that actually contributes to the freedom that you will have later on in life, focus on something that will actually mean something, sounds stupid right, focus on something that will actually will pay you, something like that, not focus on this mindless entertainment, this, all, this stupid consumerism, I see, I, I see these channels where they have they're just built on consumerism 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 all right it's not youtube's fault because youtube is just a corporation but it is the fault of the youtubers youtubers that put on the platform put the content on the platform because listen guys you can be obsessed with a car or the shoes with the house with the clothing with this, the socks, the, the watch, this, the, that, the, 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 the necklace, the jewelry, the gold, the diamond, the silver, all of this materialistic bullshit. Alright, guys. But it will not make you happy. Because once you get that, or get those objects, you will just get used to those objects. That's it. If your focus is off, if you have difficulty focusing on the things that you've previously found, entertaining and fun and cool video games or movies or this this and that then good amazing phenomenal even this is a sign to work i'm gonna record another video now bye bye peace sorry